Hi, Rusty Stainless here. I've got my enlarger lens mounted here on the Canon 5D Mark II. It's a Roden stock 105mm f5.6. And of course now I want to put it to the test. And I thought that the obvious test would be against the uh, manufacturer lenses like the Canon 100mm f2.8 macro and here I've got the 28-135mm uh, Canon zoom lens. I've gone out and taken some photos, they're all done at f5.6 uh, and uh, the reason I've sticked to f5.6 is that I think a lens, if it hasn't hit its sweet spot by uh, 5.6, well then it's not really in the game anyway. I wouldn't want to use a lens that needed to go to f8. So that's the reason I've stuck to f5.6. Uh, obvious advantage straight up is going to be the weight of the lens. Uh, this one's coming in uh, the lightest. Uh, this one is an absolute monster compared to that one. Um, and the uh, zoom lens is hefty too, but gee, not as, as hefty as that one. So uh, let's see how she went. All right. So let's let's dive in uh, to say seventy five percent, and it's at this stage you can start to see that um, the two point eight is really a sharper lens. It's you know noticeably sharper. If you're looking between the uh, zoom lens and the uh, uh, enlarger lens it's it's a much closer uh, competition there now one thing I really wanted to show you and what surprised me the most was the depth of field on the um, 100 it is uh, almost sharp to this house and this house was about no more than 40 meters from me what's that uh, in feet what, 130 feet or something um, and it's still reasonable focus there right through to the back of the photo uh, essentially infinity there um, it's got a ton of depth of field uh, for the same um, same focal length and same uh, aperture. Again, the um, um, enlarger lens and the zoom lens are reasonably uh, delivering the same result. So, um, probably the only other thing to point out on this one was... Uh, I did feel that when push came to shove at the, at the extremes that uh, maybe looking at the wire here we can see some purple fringing here um, but not so much there uh, again the um, 100 is very sharp but the 105 in larger lens doesn't have the purple fringing so um, it it beats the um, it beats the zoom lens in this case. There's a there's a definite purple streak down this uh, ridge cap on the roof here, uh, and that doesn't appear over on the 105. Okay, in this one, we're looking at the uh, pin cushion effect, and I'd have to say that the um, all three of them are pretty good. There's not a lot of distortion. Uh, from any of the lenses. Um, another thing to pick up in here and, and I noticed happened um, pretty much consistently all day was that the 102.8 was always uh, a stop uh, slower than the um, enlarger and the zoom lens uh, so we always came up with this uh, much more contrasty um, photo um, as you can see both uh, the shutter speeds on the enlarger and the zoom were at 200 and uh, in the case of uh, the 100 2.8 it 
uh, went to one three hundred and twentieth of a second. So I noticed that happening um, most of the day. In this shot, I was trying to, uh, you know, get the close focusing and see what the uh, how well they handled um, a minimum distance, and I was also looking for the um, bok bokey effect, and um, I would say that um, the enlarger lens has come up with the absolute buttery best. Uh, uh, bokey there and um, the um, 100s come up the next best and the zoom lens was um, the busiest now this is where things got strange the zoom lens here uh, although it says it was at 100 uh, that when you started to get closer in it wasn't acting like a 100 compare it to the to the true 100 beside it it is way way smaller I had these set up on a tripod they were uh, all three are taking off taking off the same tripod at the same place yet this is clearly not acting like a 100 mil lens Let's, let's just go in a little bit closer to see what the result was. So, um, again, going into 75. Um, it does look a bit uh, busy, but if we look at this uh, uh, top piece sticking up here, the, um, the 105 um, is doing a very reasonable job here. Uh, I'd say comparable to the to the 100 here. Um, in this photo, I tried to um, see how the it would render the colours if there was any different in the amount of pop that uh, came out. And again, because the um, 100 was underexposing that little bit, I, I tend to think it's probably uh, creating that darker, stronger colour uh, because it's a bit more contrasty, it's a bit darker. In terms of colours, the enlarger lens and the um, zoom lens were relatively the same contrast. Maybe the enlarger lens has the uh, least amount of contrast in uh, all three of these. Lastly, the um, well, the real pixel peeping. Um, using a chart to have a look at the focusing, and uh, again, going over to the zoom here, I had the zoom extended out to one thirty-five. It confirms that uh, up here in the EXIF data, um, and yet, it the image is smaller than the one hundred smaller than the 105 again no moving the tripod the tripod stayed in the same place camera in exactly the same place but again with the close focusing the zoom lens um, behaved very bizarrely uh, again uh, for the fourth time uh, the 100 underexposed the photo um, and yeah, well, uh, I guess you could say at least it's consistent in underexposing the photos, but um, not not ideal. Okay, let's just go in closer and have a look. Let's go to the one hundred percent. Again, I, I thought the. Um, I thought the uh, enlarger lens performed fairly well compared to the um, Canon um, um, 100 uh, macro. And sometimes if I have to look twice because I think sometimes it did better. 
uh, if you we look over here we can see the zoom lens just isn't in the same category as uh, these two it is uh, uh, again a little bit of uh, purple fringing there and um, it's uh, clearly not as well focused uh, this is pushing out to the edge of the photo so the uh, enlarger lens has done very well um, out to the edge of the photo it's pretty much kept pace with the um, the 102.8 uh, it, it's hard to compare the colors of the blacks because it, we know that the 2.8 is under exposing anyway so that's it's hard to compare that um, in this test uh, I thought clearly that the uh, zoom lens um, was not was coming third uh, at no stage did it uh, do any of its of this image um, stack up to the other two lenses here so there you go you've seen the images now um, for me I thought this lens was like um, image quality just beyond belief it, it even surprised me uh, depth of field uh, this is like a nine and a half out of ten um, very nice lens the um, zoom lens what a complete crazy one minute it's giving brilliant photos brilliant image quality uh, but in the wrong situation it gives absolutely uh, terrible photos to be quite honest um, very hard to make a meaningful comparison but yet at the end of the day um, I thought this one stacked up to it uh, quite well, I'll put that over there for a while um, in terms of enjoyment and usability um, this one it's a little bit straightforward, it's purpose built and beyond that purpose um, um, it's not that exciting to use. Um, sure, if you were shooting a party and uh, you had to hit focus quickly on people that, and uh, you had a split second, uh, and at night, this lens is absolutely the way to go. So, putting those aside and coming back to this, well, I thought this uh, shot very uh, respectable quality. Uh, I'd give it seven and a half. 8 out of 10 and it'll shoot that all day and consistently because it's manual and um, in terms of the fun factor I do like this more um, it is a lot of fun um, I'll give you a very good example of right now why it's so fun is I can just bring in this camera here and I can simply Take that off there. And go straight on there and start shooting with this one. Hey, if I get bored with the road and stop, I just take that off and I put a different and larger lens on there. So the flexibility and the, uh, uh, the the, the options and the, the fiddling you can do with this one um, that makes it fun to use and you can still get really reasonable images out of it so there you go have a bit of fun with your enlarger lens oh keep an eye out for the next video I'm going to do a comparison between this camera with this lens arrangement and this camera with the same lens on there. Micro Four Third versus full frame. Mirrorless versus mirrored. I've even got a double adapter for the Canon so that I can compare equivalent focal length as well. So keep an eye out for that video.